We're doing before taxi and taxi. All right, so the engine is running right now. We're gonna go make sure that the throttle is at a thousand RPMs. All right, avionics master switch. Make sure that is on. Avionics master switch on. Transponder on. We're gonna set our code, the four digit squat code that we get. Then we're gonna hit standby. We're gonna come up to our GPS nav equipment, push the C to turn that on. When this comes up, we're gonna get the ATIS. Uh, we're gonna listen for the ATIS. That's gonna give us an altimeter setting. We're gonna make sure to set that right here. Coming through, all right. Avionics and nav equipment. So if there's a radial that we have to input, we're gonna come in. We're gonna make sure to go to three clicks over, select Pueblo VOR, we're gonna hit direct, enter, enter. Then we're gonna hit OBS and come to our course deflection indicator and set the appropriate radial for that. Hit enter. From there, we're gonna go and check our flight instruments. All right, so airspeed, make sure that it reads zero. Adjust this to match the horizon. This is the attitude indicator match the horizon. Altimeter, make sure that we have the appropriate setting. VSI should be zero. Heading, make sure that it matches the compass. Turn coordinator should be nothing. Course deflection should be set to your radial. At the end of the flight instruments check, we have to make a call out. That is airspeed, altimeter, VSI check. From there, we're going to release the parking brakes. So we're gonna push this up, parking brake release, and we're gonna slowly advance the throttle to start our taxi. Uh, when we've moved two to three feet, we're gonna depress the brakes on the, on the aircraft, so brake. And this is our next call out. We're gonna say, brakes check, how about you? He's gonna, then your instructor is gonna check the brakes. He's gonna tap him, brakes check. Then if we have a wind, we're gonna position the flight controls if there's, a, uh, if there's wind. So if the wind is coming towards me, my left shoulder, I'm gonna turn the ailerons into the wind. If it's coming from the right, I'm gonna turn it into the wind. If it's from behind me, from my right shoulder, I'm gonna dive into the wind like this, dive this way. If it's from my left shoulder, I'm gonna go in that direction with the wind. Uh, when, once we've left, left the DOS ramp and we've crossed runway 35, we're going to do our gyroscopic instruments and compass check. So what that looks like is if I'm pushing with my left rudder, pushing left so we're doing a left turn on the taxi, I have to say left turn, right ball, heading decreasing on two, attitude indicator check. Once we've done that, we're clearing right for other aircrafts as we cross the taxiways. I go right rudder. So it sounds like this, right turn, left ball, heading increasing on two, attitude indicator check, and we will taxi to our run up area.